Mr. Robert Roker, executive producer. Come on in, Robert. Come on. Miss that's my guy. Andrea Brooks, Katie McGrath. Now, 
Well, listen. Okay, we have to talk about your pants now yeah. for a while. Sure. Let's now, talk about my pants. I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, was that all just about uh, access for the bathroom, basically? <laughs> or, uh, uh, you know, or was it chafing? There. Chafing issue? I just, I, I'm asking. America wants to know. You know what? Logis there were some logistics that needed to be addressed. Um, I won't mention the chafing, but it's cold in Vancouver, and I, you know, I was a little tired of having my bare legs exposed right. to the snow and the wind and the cold. <laughs> But more than that, I also think it's just the perfect evolution for her. It just felt like time. And we had been wanting it for a while. And I love it, you guys. I love it. That's <laughs> 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 like pretty bad. Actually, Liz and I had a, a, one of the most embarrassing conversations I've ever had right when I was doing the cast. I don't remember. You don't remember that? Which one? Oh, oh okay, I see, that's We great. had a couple. I'm not going to talk about it, but she got it. <laughs> no, we had a few so. embarrassing conversations before. <laughs> uh, but my first day on the shoot, uh, I, I had a little bit of flying to do, which is very exciting. Oh, wait, uh, you and my, Yes, now she remembers how embarrassing yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, my first day on the shoot, uh, the stunt guy said, okay, we're going to cinch a flying belt on you, which is a little tiny thing. You know, you may want to uh, shave your butt. <laughs> so I did. So my first question to Melissa was, oh my God. you still have to shave your butt? Uh, I was like... <laughs> John, yeah. you, you fell for that? I fell for that. Apparently, apparently it was a prank. How hairy is your butt? <laughs> he offered to do it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I've been here since day one, and I can honestly say that I've never done a series before where this many people get along this well for, for this long. And it's really a lot tougher for me than I thought it was going to be because I love these people. I love them. I truly, truly love them. They're my family. five years. Um, I didn't grow up able to see a superhero who looked like me at all. These guys took a chance on somebody who does not look like Jimmy Olsen and made me him and then made me a superhero and then love you. I, I, this is the most important job in my life so far so thank you. Done well, but still really cool. Have fun. <laughs> okay, you're 
Jessica did so well, too, I think, as a woman. Um, you know, she being a mother is such an incredible privilege, and when you have the desire to want to do that, it is a voice that doesn't go away. And adoption is not a linear experience. And and next David, 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 last year. He's amazing. Hey, two people would come up to me and say, he's crazy. With this way, and their, their eyes would just light up. Like, it was the most fun that they had all season. It's a lot of fun. We've got a really, really great cast, a uh, fantastic group. Um, it's really asked for a better way to start my own director's journey. So, is this going to be your first thing that you're directing? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And actually, we had, John and I had a conversation because you directed Two and a Half Men, didn't you? Yes. And he was very much integral in my, like, I've been wanting to do it, and I've been scared, and it's a, there's a lot of emotions surrounding it, but you get to know a show so well, and you get to know the characters, and the tone, and the way you know when it feels right, and when it feels good, and you also can't help, when, when I read the script, I can't help but envision what I think it would look like, or... I'm so excited to try to bring my imagination to life with these people that I love so dearly. And I, I'm a little terrified. <laughs> yes. I don't know how this is going to work. Can you guys get me down? Can I see what's happening? Um, but we have an amazing crew, <laughs> like the best crew. We are so fortunate. And uh, he's here. No, no, he's no. here. Are you here? We love you, Jesse. Are you here? Were, are you here? Yeah. yeah.